He mentioned Shafi'i. Shafi'i is a Muslim scholar. He was around uh, 1,100 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, if you, he said, uh, he said, I have debated 100 scholars. I defeat them. I debated what ignorant person he defeat me. Because yeah. ignorant person has no principles. So you cannot speak to a person. That's what the scholars, people of knowledge said. It's, it's not befitting for a scholar to speak with an ignorant person with knowledge. Because he doesn't understand what is knowledge. You know, I don't. With the scholars, do they contradict each other? Some of them. Don't know. They have opinions. Do, can they contradict each other? They have opinions. No, they, they, no, they, no, they, no, they, they can. They can. Yeah. They're human beings. Yeah. So I yeah. don't go by the scholars. No, uh, experts. You go by experts. We don't blindfold. We don't. Blind follow. We don't, don't, blind don't blind follow. Yeah, exactly. But no doubt that can now you have to follow experts in any field. However. Doesn't mean because he's an expert to blind follow him. You understand? Because because even the scholars, Muslim scholars, are not expert like Muslim scholars. Those who are piety, righteousness, and when they speak about Allah, they speak with knowledge. You know, because so. And Alhamdulillah, we don't we're not allowed to blind follow no one. We are only follow. We don't use the word blindly because blindly means there's no proof. You know, we only follow without any restriction the Quran and the Sunnah and the Ijma. Every scholar always been proof in the Quran and Sunnah. Yeah. They will never ever give a statement. We've not proven the Quran and Sunnah. You'll never find it. Or another another question. Sometimes they're going wrong, sometimes they're going right. Exactly. I want to learn. Yeah. Yes. So you have the hadiths. Yeah. You take the hadith serious? No, of course. We're joking around here. <laughs> All right. The hadith. Yeah. They uh, contradict sometimes? No. If it's authentic, it never contradicts. Okay. And how you know the hadiths are true? You use isnat, yeah? It's oh, not, yeah, it's not. Okay. Inshallah, brother, I'm going to be from Muslim. No. Become Muslim. So, one man. minute. So, yeah. it's not. It's not. The problem there is this. For yeah. me, yeah. for me, I'm just learning, yeah? Yeah. And I ask you sincere. Yeah, yeah. So, is not, he says the paper, is not, this is. And Muhammad, he said to Abraham, he said yeah, yeah. to. And the family, so this uh, hadith is correct, yeah? No, 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 no. How does it, how does it the, the hadith. How do you know this not? Uh, the science of hadith, salam alaikum. How do you know this not is correct? Because yeah, yeah. The document yeah. is long time after to show you the narration. No, no, the science of hadith. No, it's not a problem. No, no, it's not a problem. No, no, problem. Science of hadith. Science of hadith is not like a. It's not any person comes and he says. Uh, uh, it's not. No, 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 no. In, uh, the time Prophet Muhammad, so no, problem. no problem. No problem. The time Prophet Muhammad, even his own companions, when someone knows hadith, they have to know him, know who he is very well. But, yeah, yeah. And, and so study his biography, and we don't just follow a book. We have isnad, we still have isnad now. Exactly. Yes. We still have people yeah. now. Understand? Good. So in every generation, we know the person very well. We study his biography. For example, to show you that the Muslim scholars. They took it too serious, not playing around. There was a man, a scholar called Yahya ibn Ma'in. And his, he, was, uh, he was expertise in criticizing people and praising them. Yes. So he would tell you this, don't take from this person. His father used to narrate hadith. His father, yeah? Yes. So they asked about his own father. Can we take hadith from him? Yes. And Islamically, we have to respect our father. Yes. You cannot say they're lying. All right? Yes. Sir. But now watch this. Yahya ibn Ma'in, he put his head down. He said, my father is not right and hadith don't take from him wow. so he went against his own father for the sake of protecting hadith mm -hmm. you understand yes the bukhari when he came to baghdad the scholars of hadith came together and they got his book and they start mixing the isnad yes, yes. so there's a text and there's isnad oh, yes. so yes. they took the isnad from one text they put it on another text yes and they said to him we're gonna test the, uh, we didn't tell him we're gonna test you they said yeah bukhari oh bukhari you said in your book the hadith such and such and you narrate it from so and so from so and so from so and so yes and they get the second the third one he said no the first one that is not the chain of narration the first chain of narration is for the other one yes so that's we say okay now like well, i'm talking about uh, in a bigger scale so they said to him now yeah you can take hadith from him so this cause of hadith not anyone said no there were scholars sitting down verifying clarifying yes. investigating everything you understand and we still have it our time in our time there is some muslims here who gives da'wah i tell people do not listen to them why because they oppose for understanding they're my brothers in islam you know and i love them no doubt but because they say things which go against for understanding me and the brothers here they will come out openly and they say don't take from them 
Yeah, yeah, understand? Yeah. Because yeah, the deen you. is more important. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, you and my problem, thank you, sir. And my problem here is this. Yes. All this, what you said about the hadiths and the narration, yeah. and how the narration happened, yeah. where you get that, that from, not the narration, where you get the, the compiled the narrations, this is this the hadiths, the I document. document. No, 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 just documents. Also from a living thing, we have scholars now, they study under scholars, like we have a scholar called Sheikh Rabia. He has a chain of narration, he goes back to Prophet Muhammad yes. How do we know that? How do you know that? Because, you know, chain of narration, Sometimes between Prophet Muhammad and, uh, and Bukhari, there's only three people. Mm. Why, for example, imagine my father, he's 80 years old, and I'm 20, yes? My father tells me something, yes? Because remember, they used, get, uh, they used to get married very early as well. So literally, sometimes the father is older than the son, maybe 10 years, yes? So sometimes there's four generations.